Hi, I'm Thomas from Neonius. We are developing Node.js, a port of Node.js with far lower system requirements. With Node.js, you can write Node.js programs on small microcontrollers such as this $3 ESP32 module, which also has Wi-Fi on board. We're done with the basic developments and we are now looking at the details, doing lots of example projects to test. One example project is this Node.js hat, which you can actually connect to via Wi-Fi and reprogram it in JavaScript to, do, to show different animations. Also, let me show you some statistics. This is the comparison of the disk space requirements. With Node.js, you need 36 megabytes of disk space. With Node.js, you only need 3 megabytes of disk space, which means you can actually run on the ESP32, such as the Node.js hat uses, or on other systems such as uh, Nintendo DS with DS Linux. I have both Node and Low installed on a Mac system. For the start, we are supporting Mac, Linux, UC Linux, and ESP32. On Mac, Linux, and UC Linux, where there's a command line, you can just call low, just like Node. As you see, we have the same IEPL interface. You can use the full Node.js API. Let's check memory usage of a small basic program. As you can see, Node requires around 20 megabytes of memory. Low requires around 2.8 megabytes of memory. Most of the memory seems to be overhead of Mac OS X here. On the ESP32, Low uses only around 0.5 megabytes of memory. We will be publishing the first version of Low.js as open source in August. If you have any questions, contact us at info at If you wish to support us, Consider getting the Low.js hat, it's fun. Or for more serious programming, the Neonius One microcontroller board with Low.js, Ethernet, Wi-Fi and lots of other features. You can get them both on our crowdfunding page. Thank you and goodbye.